Mary, no. Now, don't you look at me like that. Just watch me! be on my side when I when I shoot that blasted dog. I promise. I promise he'll never do it again. I... That is the third time this month you have said that. He scares a living daylights out of my chickens so they won't lay no eggs. At least he doesn't eat the chickens. That's right. He keeps that up. He is going to see the business end of this shotgun sooner or later. First thing we're gonna do is go right into town and buy a brand new lock to fix old man Steele's chicken coop. That should make him feel better. Good morning. Good morning. Well, last time. Good morning. Here you go. Tell your little sister I said hi, okay? See ya. I'm gonna go to the bag and get some pop in the cooler, okay? Well, I need you to take care of these people at the counter, son. It's gonna be tough enough getting by when you're gone. Hello, Danny. Hi, Louise. Hey, so did Jerk think you can manage three pops and a root beer float without lousing it up? <laughs> Coming right up. <laughs> Say, so how was basic training? Oh, man, it's a cakewalk. <laughs> I didn't see you at the war bond rally. Uh, that's because I wasn't there. I, uh... I was busy signing up. Signing up for what? The army. Which side? <laughs> I think you'd make everybody proud. I'm really, I'm really so, I'm so sorry. I'm here. Chips. Supper 
time. It's Chip. Peggy, where's Chip? I don't know. Daddy's gone again. <laughs> Howdy, Jim. Seems we got a bit of a problem with your dog. I'm real sorry about this, Sheriff. Sheriff here says I'm I'm well within my rights if I shoot that blasted dog. Now, Earl, you let the sheriff have his say. Jim, this is the third time I've been called out here on a complaint about chips. Uh, he's trespassing and destroying property. Sheriff, I give you my word. Uh, Jim, we've been down that road before. I'm afraid I got no choice. If you can't control your dog, somebody else will. Now, the next time I come to pick him up, I'm going to take him straight to the pound. Earl, I'm sorry. Wilma? I'm sorry, too, Jim. Well, I ain't. Come on, boy. Come on. Come on. Maybe we should move. Yeah, somewhere where they don't have chickens. Oh, do you think that's realistic? No, really? No. No. Then what should we do? Right now, we should go to the movies. Oh, here's a good idea. That's what we should do. Come on, Jimbo. And tomorrow, we'll figure out what to do about chips. You stay here. Dad, are all the windows no. shut? <laughs> The army anymore. It's better than it's ever been before. The bugler blows, I can't get them up at quarter after seven. But if you're tired, stay right there and sleep until eleven. Oh, the army's not the army anymore. <laughs> Here at home, the United States War Department is calling upon the generosity of our citizens to once again lend support to the war effort. The military is asking for donations of dogs to the Dogs for Defense program, an experimental unit to be trained in military service as sentry and patrol dogs for the protection of our country. Dogs as soldiers? <laughs> it's crazy. Anyone who owns a dog, any breed, of above average intelligence between one and five years of age that meets the size requirements and is in sound physical condition is eligible for this program. Sounds like chips. If your animal meets these requirements and you can find it in your heart to donate your dog to the United States Armed Forces, please contact Dogs for Defense Headquarters in your city. Thank you. That's it. Fight for our country. You saw the newsreel. What do you say, Dad? I say the whole thing sounds like a fairy tale to me, honey. But it's our only chance, Dad. Please. Jimbo, Chips can't behave himself from one minute to the next. Now, what makes you think he can be a soldier? I know he can do it. Jim, we don't have much of a choice. Please, Dad. You really want to do this to the Army? He won't be afraid of gunfire. He's heard plenty of that before. <laughs> there, nice. Okay, let's take a look at your teeth, boy. Doesn't he have great teeth? Very healthy teeth. 
<laughs> I'm pleased to inform you, Chips has been accepted into the Dogs for Defense program on a preliminary basis. Well, Chips, buddy, oh. you're in the army now. <laughs> oh, nephew boy. Uh, where's he going to be going? War Dog Headquarters, Front Royal, Virginia. You're very brave children. Chips is going to make you very proud. <laughs> Come on, let's go. With all the trouble he got into, it's not going to be the same around here without him. <laughs> well, let's just all hope that he does something for his country, huh? Let's all hope he behaves himself. Put your hand out. Let him sniff you. Yeah, no, Dad. That's all right. That dogs don't like me. Oh, come on. Give him a chance. That's what I mean. I'll probably get a better response from the Germans. Well, I guess this is sort of it, huh? Yeah. Don't worry about me, Pop. I'll be all right. You better be. You're all I got. Take care of yourself, okay? Hey, don't do anything crazy out there. I won't. Dogs can smell people from 500 yards away, hear a twig crack from over a half a mile. A two-year-old dog has the same learning capabilities and retention as a seven-year-old child. Their coloring acts as a natural camouflage in enemy territory, and the smaller breeds are so light, it won't set off explosives in highly mined areas. And gentlemen, I personally guarantee you that if captured, these dogs will not reveal any secrets to the enemy. Colonel, it is all well and fine that dogs are as naturally endowed by the good Lord. But where is the proof that you can train people's pets to be the next best thing to soldiers? How often have you read in the newspaper how a dog has saved human lives? 
only yesterday I read in your local newspaper how a dog held two assailants at bay until the authorities arrived. Gentlemen, I could go on and on trying to convince you, but the fact remains we're involved in an experimental program here. Now, we've engaged Rutherford P. Smythe, the foremost dog trainer. He's come over from England to spearhead our Dogs for Defense program. But it's this committee's money that will make this program a reality. I realize you've been skeptical from the program's inception. But I ask you to imagine all of the lives that these dogs will eventually save. Well, let me say this in closing, Colonel Charlie. There are many more legitimate tried and true defense programs that need our wartime dollars. Now, I understand that you have been able to convince a great number of my colleagues on the Hill of the validity of the program. But as I am chairman of the funding committee, I remain unconvinced. I hope this concerns you. The proof of the pudding is in the eating. And I'll expect to see that proof at the end of six months' time. Senator Brown, in six months, I will deliver to you a highly trained, combat-ready crack unit of war dogs. Gentlemen, prepare to cough. Uh, I'm sorry. What's your name, boy? Danny. Will you listen here, Danny? You touch my foot again, I'm gonna flatten you so hard they're gonna have to scrape you up like a burnt flapjack. Hey, move it! Next. on the red team an extra 50 push-ups. Did you hear me? Yes, yes drill, Sergeant! Carry on! 33, 34, 34. Let's eat dirt! 
Move it, girls! The Jerry's are training, and I'm gonna train you! I don't want wax in my outfit! Move it! You girls hear me? You're moving like molasses! Double time it! Losing team does an extra 50 push-ups! Move it! Come on, Stover, get the let out! If I can do it, anybody can! <laughs> you look like a jitterbugger with a snake! Oh. Stover! 33! Nice 34! 35! 36! 37! 37! 37! 38! That one hit, you goofballs! What's the matter with you girls? You all can't need glasses! Take a deep breath! Exhale two-thirds, get a sight picture, and squeeze the trigger, girls! Wilson, get your mind off lunch! Spread those legs! Goes nothing. Nice shot. Ganner's luck. Looks like I got a real Annie Oakley here. Keep firing! Get it. The men didn't have much time to put it together, Mr. Smythe. I hope you approve. Well, under the circumstances, this is a splendid place. Thank you, sir. Let me just say it's a real honor to be working with you. Oh, thank you, my dear. Let's hope our canine friends have the same mind. Ah, come, boy. There, now. Sit. Sit. Lie down. Good boy. It's a pleasure to be in the company of such excellence. <laughs> there you go. Now, let's see. Here we are. Sit. Oh, 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 we sport a bit of a temper, don't we? What was your name again? Hercules, sir. Ah, Hercules. Ah, oh, well, never mind. There you go. Now, who have we here? Chips, sir. Ah, chips, eh? Girls into real ladies! Sound off, soldier! 
One more. One more. No sweat. No sweat. Two more. Two more. Better yet. Better yet. Three more. Three more. Can't hurt. Can't hurt. Four more. Four more. Four more. Four more. No pain. No pain. Hey, hey, hey. Great work, sir. Thank you, sir. This country has every reason to be very proud of you men today. These past few weeks, you've proved your courage, stamina, and ability to work together as a unit. You're stepping forward to put your lives on the line for freedom, to fight for the future of our children, to maintain this democracy which is being threatened thousands of miles from our shores. <laughs> Group 10, charge! <laughs> These gentlemen. A chosen few of you will be afforded a very special opportunity to participate in an experimental program that is vital to the war effort. I stand before you today asking for volunteers to be war dog handlers in this experimental program. What, only one volunteer? Two volunteers. Uh, no, sir. You don't understand. Dogs really don't like me. Two volunteers. I guess we'll have to settle this the old-fashioned army way. You, 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 and you. Doggy detail. You gotta be kidding. You have a problem with that, Private? No, sir. Not at all, sir. Good dog. Good. Lavishing praise for a job well done brings out the best in us, doesn't it, chaps? It is essential for this program that you establish a strong bond with your dog. Use words of encouragement. Scratch us in our favorite spot behind the ears. We're eager to live up to your expectations once the friendship has been established between Homo sapiens and canine. We will perform any task that is required of us, provided the end result is love and affection. Turn around! Turn around! Remember, gentlemen, we can become quite hooked on verbal and physical praise. Good big doggy, good dog. So, gentlemen, if you'd be so kind, as we begin our first exercise, let us establish a foundation of trust. We will mimic the actions of our masters as long as we know you won't lead us into harm's way. Now, here on this marvellous obstacle course. You mustn't expect us to do anything that you're not willing to do. And we're a bit unnerved by enclosed spaces. We're eager to escape things like tunnels at any cost. So now is the moment at which we expect you to nourish the trust and rapport we're trying to build. All right, Sir Lancelot, let's show them how it's done. Ready? Off we go. Good boy, Sir Lancelot. All right, gentlemen, begin. Come on, Midnight, you and I together. Uh, oh, oh, my God. Oh, first. Good boy, Hercules. Come on, Jenny, you can do it. should find you a dog a tad less aggressive. Now, as we approach these hoops, our first instinct is to go round or under them. So we must be trained to obey your commands, no matter what our instincts tell us. All right, Espinosa. 
Ah, good, very good, Wilson. Get up from under there! Hop! No, 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 no. We respond to the tone and the sound of the voice, not the volume. An encouraging tone <laughs> elates us. A harsh tone depresses us. Are we quite clear? Yes, sir. Yeah. Come on. Right. Stopher, your turn. Here we go. Yeah. Up. <laughs> it's all right. Get up here. Up. Yeah. Up. Good boy. Appreciate your input. Thank you. Mr. Smythe. <clears throat> Private Stouffer reporting is ordered, sir. At ease, soldier. I'm reassigning you, Stouffer. Does this mean I'm out of the dog program? Where am I going, sir? I received the progress report. Your fear of dogs is what's holding you back. Son, there's only one way to conquer fear like that. Look it straight in the eye. Here are your orders. The kennels? Mm-hmm. Report to Corporal Lloyd. Someday you'll thank me for this. Yeah, right. Excuse me, soldier. Yes, sir. Excuse me, do you know where I can find uh, Corporal Lloyd? Put her office in the back. Thank you. This is all your fault. For doggy duty, sir. Doggy duty? Is that how you see this program? I know you. You're the one that gave me that Rottweiler that almost tore my head off. My understanding is it was a much smaller recruit who did that. Uh, let's start again. I'm Corporal Lloyd. Come on, I'll show you the ropes. You'll be in charge of feeding, grooming, and bathing the dogs. Bathing the dogs? As well as changing the straw in their dog houses as needed. The dogs need to be tended to carefully to get the best performance out of them while they're in training. If a soldier comes in and needs a new dog, make sure you give him one from this section. These dogs don't have the temperament for the program. Smythe can't work with them. But what happens to them? We keep them until their owners claim them or they go to the pound to be adopted. The pound? I hate that part of it, too. The pound truck comes once a week. You'll be responsible for making sure the right dogs get shipped out. Any questions? What if for some outside reason, the dogs just don't like me? Private Stouffer, why don't you try this instead? Okay, here we go, Jojo. Yeah, that a boy. Good dog. Hercules, supper time. Come on, boy. Come on. That's it. Good stuff, huh? Yeah. Here goes nothing. Okay. <laughs> 
<laughs> All right, up you go. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on, boy. Come on. Right. for you. Good dog. That's it. <laughs> yes! Yes! All right, Raleigh. Come here, big boy. It's time for your bath. Now, we still have our deal, right? I don't hurt you, and you don't hurt me. I'm impressed. Quite the inventor. Oh, thanks. Kathy? Would you like to go have a soda sometime? Well, sure. Really? Danny, I didn't say I'd marry you. I just said I'd go have a soda with you. Right. That's it, there you go. No one, that's it, on you go. Oh. Oh, no. Upsy daisy, that's right, on Get down, down, keep down. Look at him. Poor Smite. He's really got his hands full. I'll never be ready for the brass on time. Obviously, you don't know Rutherford P. Smythe. If anyone can whip the corn to shape, he can. And he'll do it. He has to. You really care a lot about this program, don't you? Yes. And you? Yeah. I'm beginning to. A canine sense of smell is roughly 40 times keener than yours. Now, everyone, take one of these, give your dog a good sniff, and then send the ball out of sight. Midnight can go first. Get the ball. Get the ball. Go get him, Midnight. Yeah, go on, Midnight. Good boy, Midnight. Oh, oh yes. Yeah. Nice job. All right. Encourage him in gentle tones. Have a nice conversation with him. Good boy. Hey, Mitch, just be nice to him. Midnight could do it. All right, Chips, you lousy mutt. You come back without this ball, and you're not gonna eat for a month, you understand? Good boy. Good boy. Fitch! Fitch! Whoa, hey, where are you going? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Mitch, looks like your dog's going to wall. <laughs> I'm afraid that dog doesn't have the metal. Mitch, round him up and take him back to the kennels. Find yourself another dog. And Stopher, you may go and assist him. Chips, I ain't gonna hurt you. Come here, boy. 
Chips, chips, come chips, come here, you lousy dog! Don't worry, I'm gonna get you. What a pair. They deserve each other. Yeah, I understand completely. Goodbye. What is it? What's the matter? That was Front Royal. Chips has been discharged from the War Dog program. Does that mean he can come home now? He can't come home, can he? Remember Farmer Steele's? Where's he going? To the pound. But I'm sure a nice family is going to adopt him. Can I send him a letter to cheer him up? Oh, I bet he'd appreciate that more than anything. Here you go, boy. That's it, meal time. Don't you want some of that? Chips, come on, you gotta eat. Look, don't be so down, okay? I know how you feel. They didn't want me either. But you gotta eat something, okay? Come on. It's a good dog. Ooh, lipstick! Yeah. Yeah. And perfume! Yeah. Yeah. Adores! Yeah. Oh, let me sweet it out! Get your heart out, guys! Midnight! Midnight? Asshole. Oh, that would be me. Come on up here, sweet Pete. <laughs> oh, no, don't go away, Midnight. Little package from home. Oh, yeah. Home baked cookies. You mean home baked dog biscuits? Chips! <laughs> War dog chips? Oh, Stouffer, ain't that sweet? You can read to him while you're doing his nails tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Dear Chips, we think about you all the time, and even though you're not in the program anymore, we're proud of you anyway. We miss you a whole lot and pray that you'll find a special home with no chickens around to get you in trouble. What's with you and chickens? Anyway, I miss you a lot. Love, Peggy. And oh, I almost forgot, Jimbo too. They sound like nice kids, Chips. Don't worry, boy. I'm not gonna let anything bad happen to you. Colonel Charnley, how nice to see you again. Come in, Stanley's waiting in the den. Say hello to the Colonel children. That's right. Thank you. The war is heating up and all our funds must go to military equipment. You're trying to tell me something, sir. This dog program is just too costly. We're going to have to scrap it. Senator, I'm not interested in saving money. I'm interested in saving lives. Let me prove to you what these dogs can do in a field test. If your committee's not satisfied, then I'll bow out gracefully. All right. You have two weeks until the next subcommittee meeting. Senator, two weeks? You can't train a dog in two weeks. Two weeks. Take it or leave it. Tea? Hey, Stouffer, think fast. Sick and tired of this. That's a third loser in a row. How do they expect to put on a decent show with mutts like that? Miss, did it ever occur to you that maybe it's not the dog's fault? What's that supposed to mean? Well, you're so smart, why don't you figure it out? Private Stouffer, I think what Private Wilson is trying to say is that he'd like a dog with a little bit more spirit, more bark to his bite. Il Gigante. Precisely what I was thinking. Yes. Mitch, what would you say if I gave you a dog that could bite the hubcaps off a of Buick? I say you'd be singing my song. Follow me.
Well, Mitch, here you go. That's more like it. A big hug is the first step to establishing a bond with your dog. Good carry on. <laughs> when Mitch comes back, give him Jojo. Okay. All right, gentlemen, okay. let's go through that little exercise once more. Are we ready? Sit. 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 Good. Now. Down. Down. That's it. That's it. Jolly good. And take cover. Cover. Well done. Well done. Well done. Now, from this position, we go on to the crawl. I don't but believe it. Day. What have you been keeping from us, huh, boy? I knew you weren't a washout. Can you do that for me again? Huh? Try it. Come on. Up. Good boy. Sit. Sit. Yes. Down. Down. Holy cow. Cover. Cover. Kathy, come here. I was just giving Chip's commands and he actually obeyed everything that I said. Watch, watch. Okay. Sit. Come on, boy. Sit, Chips. Sit. Sit, Chips. A minute ago, he was doing everything that I said. Kathy, you gotta believe me. You gotta give this dog a second chance. Danny, I'm sorry. I don't have any choice. Smythe washed him out of the program. Chips is going to the pound tomorrow morning. Sunday, but it's the only day we can work together when no one's around, okay? Come on. Now, Smythe says you're gonna hate closed spaces. He says here you do anything not to go in there. The war dogs have to go through tunnels to search, okay? So I want you to follow me through this tunnel. Now, I know you can do it, all right? Okay, let's try this. All right, come on, boy. Come on, Chips. Come on, boy. Come on, Chips. Chips! Come on, boy. Come on, Chips. Come on, boy. Chips! Come on, Chips! Chips. Now, wait a minute. I think you're missing something here, okay? Follow me. Now, let's try this again. Come on. Come on, boy. Come on, Chips. That a boy. That a boy. Yeah! Good dog. One of the new ones? Uh, yeah. What breed is he? Uh, he's nothing too exciting. It's just a mutt. I just came over to tell you how bad I feel about Chips. I know you got attached to him. Thanks. Two bucks says we ace that field evaluation test tomorrow. No sweat. Two bucks says midnight bells out on the catwalk. Hey, don't you worry about midnight. You just make sure you keep Hercules pointing right. And then all you worry about staying out of me and JoJo's way. You need that? What is it with you lately, Stouffer? You got a tape for him? Fine. This meat's for JoJo. He needs his strength. 
Hey, Stouffer. You can have my roast beef. Sarge says I gotta lose some weight. Thanks, Officer Roy. Now, Stouffer needs all that extra energy to give him much their baths. <laughs> See you guys. See you. Want to lay off Stouffer? You know, Mitch, he's putting his whole heart into his part of the program. It takes guts. <laughs> okay, here you go, buddy. I hope you like this. Yeah, this will make you strong. Here you go, boy. I know you don't like this military food, so I brought you something special. Come on, boy, you gotta eat. Look here. Yeah. Nobody's gonna keep sand in our faces anymore. Okay, Chips. I know this looks hard, but I know you can do it, okay? All right, let's give it a shot. Come on. Here we go. Up. That's it. That's it. Come on, take it slow. Oh, careful. Come on, nice and easy. Nice and easy. Almost there, boy. Good dog. Good boy. All right, come on, come on. All right, partner, you got one more for today. Come on, let's try it. Chips, come here, come here. Listen, we can't put this cat walk off anymore, okay? I want you to just watch me. All right. Come on, no, come on, come on, right here. Come on, right here. That's it, that's it, come on. Come on, come on, come on. That a boy, that a boy. That's it, nice and easy. Easy, easy, easy. That a boy, that a boy. Okay. Let me go first, that a boy. That a boy, slow. Slow, that's it, slow. out there. Come on, we got a lot of work to do. Let's go. Wally, huh? The new mutt? Kathy, I can explain this whole thing. You lied to me. I'm sorry. But I really believe in chips, and I had to prove it. Kathy, he knows all these field exercises. He can do everything those other dogs can do. Yes, I can see that. But you put my career on the line, Danny. Not to mention what Sergeant Russ would do if he caught you out here. So are you going to tell him? I don't have to. Because Chips is going to be on the pound truck first thing in the morning. I don't have a choice, Danny. <laughs> well, Chips, we tried. Everybody on his feet. Get over to the kennel. I'm the double. What's the matter, Sarge? Your dogs are in trouble. What? Come on. What's wrong with the dogs? Come on, guys. Hurry up. Come on. 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 A nasty case of Alikia Canis. What's that? Food poisoning. All the dogs should be back on their feet within a week. A week? We don't have a week, Doctor. I have six senators who expect to see a field test tomorrow. Otherwise, there's not going to be any war dog program. Colonel, are you familiar with the phrase, sick as a dog? Well, that's what you've got here. Soldier, what about your dog? He doesn't look as sick as the others. Well, sir, I've been feeding him leftovers from the mess hall. Uh, maybe he won't get as sick as the others. Well, that explains it, because Chips isn't sick either. And he hasn't had one bite of that dog food. I've been feeding him a special diet, too. I distinctly remember washing out that dog weeks ago. What's he doing in our midst? Private, did you or did you not load that dog onto the pound truck? No, sir, I did not. It was my fault, Sergeant Rust. I accidentally mixed up the paperwork. Colonel Charnley, the field test can go on tomorrow as planned. Chips and I can do that job. I've been working with that dog every night for the past month. Colonel, 
Chips can do all the exercises that we taught the other dogs. He knows all the field exercises. Danny has taught him well. Well, if you just let me show you. My dear boy, what do you take me for? If that dog had one iota of talent, do you believe I'd overlook it? Sir, if you would just give us a chance. I really believe that between Mitch, Jojo, Chips, and me, we can pull this job off tomorrow. Colonel, I expected 15 dogs out there, so I knew some of them would get through, but with just two dogs and one of them... Well, the odds are ridiculous. I'm afraid we'll have to postpone. Not possible. Senators have to see results tomorrow. And they will. What do you say, Mitch? Uh, yes, sir, we'll give it a try. I'm sorry, Colonel. I don't think either of these dogs is up to it. I don't think we have a choice. As they say, the chips are down. 0700 tomorrow. Well, we've got our work cut out for us. Well, let him rest. We'll just have to sweat it out. He's getting worse, not better. Come on, Jojo. Hang in there, boy. Mitch is not such a bad guy. When he's asleep. That's funny. He said the same thing about you. I wish there was something more we could do for Jojo. Now, tomorrow, boys, when the smoke comes, that'll be the worst. The chips can handle anything. So I've been told. Nevertheless, he's never been subjected to it. And his sense of smell is keener than yours. It'll frighten and confuse him. You have to help him through that. It's imperative. Oh, another thing you're going to have to watch out for is the mortars. That's going to be the worst. Wait, I thought you said the smoke would be the worst. Yes, well, there you have it. The unexpected. Now, the worst thing you're going to have to guard against will be machine gun fire. You know, you really ought to get some sleep. Come the dawn, there'll be ample time to be nervous. Jojo. Hey, y'all get up. Jojo's OK. Hey, boy. Jim's Jojo's okay. Well done. Well done. a boy. Good boy. Right. The field test consists of a traverse and capture maneuver. One squad with dogs, one squad without. The winner will be the squad that captures the target the fastest with the least amount of casualties. The target will be Sergeant Rust, who will be sequestered in a tent at the far end of the course. No one will be allowed to capture the target without first fully completing the obstacle course. You should understand that we're operating here under full battlefield conditions. The course is mined with paint bombs. If anyone is to set off a paint bomb, they should consider themselves wounded and out of the action. Now, gentlemen and dogs, take your starting marks. I'm counting on you boys to strut your stuff. These dogs can do it. Now is the time. I think we could pack up and go home. Hot <laughs> oh, boy! Come on! Out right now, Jojo! Come on now, get over the wall! Head a boy! Jump! Head a boy! Head a boy! Wire. All right, Jojo, let's go, boy. Come on, get down, cover! 
Come on, let's go, Jojo. Oh, now, get him down. Stover, get Chips down. Man, something's wrong. I can't get him to cover. Oh, chips down. Boy. Come on, boy. Come on, you gotta go through Chips. Come on, Jojo. Down, boy. Down, that's it. All right, that a boy. Now, let's go. Oh, good boy. Good boy, Chips. Good boy, Chips. Come on, Jojo, let's go. Come on, Good boy. Come on, boy. Come on, let's follow him, Stover. No, wait. Which way, Chips? Jojo, search. Find Rice. Come on, this way. Done. Hey! Come on, get on your knees. Through here. This way. Wait, stop. Don't use those locks. It's a setup. Take one from over there. Oh, oh well, that's it. Good choice. Manic. Three more down, Senator. Get Come on, Jojo. Get on the cross, boy. Atta boy. Let's follow the dog. Come on. Let's go. Atta boy. I'm hit. Oh, watch it. Oh. 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 Don't Chips, don't Chips, come here! Oh, come on Chips, dance over here, boy! Come on, what is it, you said something wrong, huh? What is it, a bomb? Come on, hey! Hey! Oh, oh, Move it, move it, get out! Oh, I've been man against you. Got it, get out! Oh. It is not over yet, friend! Oh! Oh! <laughs> go, go! Come on, Daddy! Come on, Jojo! It's over, Sergeant. healthy win that was, eh, Senator Brown? Well, personally, I've never had a single solitary misgiving about the potential value of the war dog program to the armed forces. Thank you, sir. <laughs> no, no, you're too small for the program. Yes, you are. Oh, thanks, you know, last night when you put us up for this harebrained scheme, I could have... I know. You could have strangled me. Right. Don't go getting any ideas. I still don't like you or anything. <laughs> Same here. You would have been so proud to think that Chips was in moments away from going to the pound. And today he turns around and practically single-handedly saves the whole program. Mom, Chips is a soldier! He made it! As a matter of fact, the senators were so impressed that they decided to assign us to actual war duty. War duty? We're shipping off to Europe, so wish us luck. Listen, I'll write to you as soon as I get to where I'm going, okay? Bring them home in one piece. Okay, let's go, Stuffer. Move it. Don't worry, we'll take care of him. Let's go, come on. Let's go, move out. On the war front, American soldiers continue their fight for freedom on European soil. Today is the first day of a three-day long conference among leaders of the Allied countries who will be arriving here momentarily to discuss their top secret strategy. Highly placed government officials speculate the ultimate direction of World War II will be decided by the end of the conference. Needless to say, tension is high and security is intense. I thought they brought us over here to see some action. Next thing I'll have us doing is parking cars. 
Easy boy, easy boy. Come to catch any month, this is embarrassing. Obviously something's the matter, Mitch. Take it easy, boy. What are you calling JoJo stupid? You don't think he knows something's wrong? Go, go, go! That's it. Stouffer, we're not supposed to leave our post. Stouffer! Mitch, come on, the dog's on or something. Chips just wants to tie one on. What are you guys doing away from your post? Captain yeah, Bridges, sir! I think Chips has found something! Captain, there's nothing but wine in those barrels. We checked them earlier. <laughs> Captain, look, someone submitted over this brick. Red alert, get the bomb squad in here. Good work, boy. Okay, boy? Just pretend they're chickens out there. All right? Come on. Hunt. You gonna be okay? I can't believe he's dead. I know. I can't either. I never thought I'd get so attached to anything. Especially dog. I know how you feel. <laughs> how do you know how I feel? You still got your dog. I mean, I think Chips has found something.
right there, sir. Yeah! Well done! all that. Here, reestablish contact with second squad. Yes, Front. sir. It's unbelievable. <laughs> Ships got through. We got reinforcements coming. Of the island. They've got intense fighting over there. What the heck do they call this? We're running low on ammo. One of us has got to get over there and knock out that pillbox. I'll try. Chips, I want you to stay with O'Keefe, all right? O'Keefe, take him. Don't 
look at me like that. You strictly disobeyed my orders. All right, move it. You're gonna be just fine, all right? Had a boy, good dog. O'Keefe, head count. Captain, that dog saved our lives. Thank you, soldier. Sergeant Meade, six wounded, one unaccounted for. Wilson. Mitch? He's still missing? Private, if he's back there, he's more than missing. Pronto, spotty! Take up! Down boy! Come here, Chips! Down boy! Chips, I need you to do one more important thing for me, okay, boy? Can you do one more thing? Find Mitch, okay, boy? Go find Mitch! Go on! Look, I'm gonna have to get some help, okay? I didn't think anybody's gonna come after me. Who said I was coming for you? I lost my canteen. <laughs> hey, Danny. Thanks. You got it. Come back. Come on, boy. Up! Come on! Up! Ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of a grateful nation, I take great pride in presenting to Chips for his outstanding contribution to the war effort, the Distinguished Service Cross for special heroism in battle, the Silver Star for bravery in action, and the Purple Heart for being wounded in action. Smiling for the folks back home, Chips. Chips. I'm really sorry, sir. He doesn't want this war to end, does he? <laughs> Jackson! What are you guys doing? Waiting on you, hero. <laughs> hey, I heard Chips bit Eisenhower. <laughs> Don't remind me. Good to see you on your feet. Thanks to you, buddy. Welcome home, Corporal Stolzer. Thank you, sir. You and Chips made us real proud. Thank you. If there were a doghouse large enough, I'd send myself to it. <laughs> well done, old chap. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Welcome home. Oh, boy, did I miss you. Knock it off, you guys. This is supposed to be a celebration for Chips. How you doing, Danny? Good. How you doing? Good. I almost forgot. What is this? It's a coat for Chip's medals. Hip, hip, hooray! Hip, hip, hooray! Hip, hip, hooray! At ease. I just received this telegram from the War Department. Before you read it, I'd like to preface it by saying that I in no way agree with its content. It is with great regret that we inform you the following commendations were improperly bestowed upon Chips, a GI battle dog. The Purple Heart, the Distinguished Service Cross, and the Silver Star? War Department regulations prohibit the actual bestowing of medals upon animals, and to do so decries the high and lofty purposes for which the medals were created. I think you'd be pleased to know that the Hastings have agreed to welcome Chips home again. 
done, the war's over. Chips and all the rest of these dogs ship out tomorrow. Remember this catwalk boy? We should sure handle this thing, didn't we? We're gonna handle this too. Yeah. Company! Oh! Job, soldier. Well, chips. This is it. Looks like they've even got a homecoming for you. Stouffer. I'm Jim Hastings. How do you do, sir? And this is my wife, Maddie. Pleasure, ma'am. Nice to meet you. Your letters meant so much to the kids, Corporal Stouffer. Please, Danny. Oh, Danny. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, these belong to Chips. Thank you, Danny. If you don't mind, I, I, uh, I'd like to say goodbye to him. Sure. Danny, thanks for taking care of our dog. Yeah. I think it was the other way around. <laughs> okay. You're home now, boy. I want you to be a good dog, okay? Thank you, ma'am. I've got a bus to catch. Bye,
chips you've got to eat. I don't think he's happy to be home. Danny, don't you, boy? Dad, quick! Take us to the bus depot! What's the matter, son? We have to get Danny! What? Why? What? Just take us! Okay! Daddy. doing here? Me and Peggy decided that Chips isn't our dog anymore. You should have him. He misses you. Hi, Chips! Hi! Hi! Hey, buddy! How you doing, buddy? Come here, boy! I don't know what to say. Say yes, Danny. It's what the kids really want. <laughs> On one condition. You guys will let Chips come visit anytime he wants? Yeah. Bye, Chips. <laughs> say goodbye, little boy. Say goodbye. Say goodbye. All right. <laughs> Take good care of Danny. Come on, boy. We got Kathy waiting to see us. Take care. Bye. Come on, hop. Don't even think about it. Oh. <laughs>